Hello cousins, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Big Mama Cooks and I have an Instagram page where I post recipes all the time at Big Mama Cooks underscore. Today's recipe is picadillo, a Cuban inspired dish of ground beef with potatoes. This is delicious and so easy to make. Let's get right to it. All of the ingredients are going to be listed in the bottom bar. I'm going to start out by stir frying all of my veggies on medium high heat with one tablespoon of oil. I am going to stir fry my veggies around gently until all of my veggies become soft. Then I am going to go in and add in one chicken bouillon cube. I'm going to crush the chicken bouillon cubes into my veggie and mix everything around together. Next, I'm going to add in my ground beef, but you can also use ground turkey or ground chicken if you have dietary restrictions. I am using about one and a half pounds of ground beef. So I'm going to mix everything together and start breaking down my ground beef. Next, I'm going to go in with my spice mix. Again, don't worry, everything is going to be listed in the bottom bar. I'm mixing everything really well together and you can start noticing as the ground beef starts taking on that awesome soy sauce color. So that deep brown ground beef color is coming from the soy sauce. Next, I'm going to add in six olives or aceitunas and two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to mix everything around really well together as it starts to thicken up and then I'm going to go in and add in one cup of water. At this point, I am going to lower the heat to medium. Off camera, you haven't seen this, but I'm adding in a couple sprigs of cilantro. It's not on camera. I thought I was recording that process. Turns out I wasn't. So there's cilantro added in at this point and I'm going to cover my pot for 20 minutes on medium heat. At the end of those 20 minutes when we come back, aha, enter cilantro. At the end of those 20 minutes when we come back, I'm going to move my meat around again. And at this point, it is time to add in the potatoes. While filming, I've had a small pot going behind the picadillo. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but in that pot, I've had three potatoes going and they look just like this. So these are my potatoes. It was three small potatoes that I peeled and boiled and I'm going to add this now to my meat. This is when ground beef turns into picadillo. I'm going to fold my potatoes in gently so that they don't start breaking down. I'm going to mix everything really well together, again gently, and then I'm going to cover my pot for 10 minutes on low heat. Low heat. At the end of those 10 minutes when we come back, you have now made picadillo. Look at that. Picadillo is, oh man, delicious. The men in my household are meat and potatoes kind of guys and they go crazy for this dish every single time. I served my picadillo with a side of white rice, aguacate, avocado, and platano maduros fritos, or fried ripe plantains. This plate wins every single time. Thank you for watching, cousins. See you again next time.